Oh, yeah? Oh, no. Oh, you may. Oh, I can't wait. You just did that. <laughs> oh, bye bye. You won again. Yep. Want to play something else now? Yeah, sure. I'll run up and get it. I'm, you want to play something else? <sighs> hey, I'll tell you at Jackie. What's this? Check it out, it's Grandpa's old army stuff. Huh. Can I give you a call right back? I'm, I'm gonna go check on the boys real quick. What's that? Whoa, a gun. I wonder if it has bullets in it. I don't know. What are you guys getting into up here? It must have been Grandpa's old gun. Can you play with it? No, Chris, why don't you guys head downstairs and play another round of checkers? I'll be down in a second. Go on, guys, downstairs. Would you know what to do if you were in a similar situation? Do you know how to safely pick up and check a firearm to see if it is loaded? Do you feel confident that you could safely unload a firearm and remove it from the area? The best way for you and your family to stay safe around firearms is to educate yourself about them. We've talked with a few people from different walks of life to find the answers. My husband recently decided to buy his own gun, and I've got to admit, at first we didn't see eye to eye on things at all. Um, you know, I've really never been around guns, and we've got two young children, eight and five, and we're expecting our third in a few months. <laughs> Frankly, the idea of having a gun in the house seemed really scary to me. So Leo and I decided that together we should research some of the safety issues involved in owning a gun. I learned firearm safety at an early age. I grew up with guns in the house. Uh, my dad taught me to respect them and how to handle them properly, just like his dad taught him. And I guess that's why it was important for me to teach my son safety now while he's grown up. Up until about six months ago, I was terrified of guns. I mean, all I knew was what I'd seen in the movies or heard on the tragic news reports. I decided I didn't want to live in fear any longer, so I decided to sign up for a class on guns and gun safety at the community college. We'll take a closer look at the topic of gun safety and how to safely store firearms. We'll show you how a gun works and the basics on how to properly unload a gun. Educating yourself about firearms is a key component in staying safe. The more information you equip yourself with, the better prepared you are to actively avoid accidents. There are numerous places you can get information on firearm safety. Take advantage of your resources, the local library or bookstore. Check out the internet. Talk to someone at your local law enforcement office, Department of Conservation, or check in with organizations such as the National Shooting Sports Foundation and the National Rifle Association for videos and local experts. Stay safe by educating your family. It's important to remember that this is an introduction to gun safety. The more you know, the safer your family will be. A cartridge is made up of four components, a shell casing, a bullet, powder, and a primer. Let's look at how these components work together when loaded into this semi-automatic pistol. Once a cartridge is loaded into the chamber, the trigger is pulled, which drops the hammer and drives the firing pin forward, detonating the primer, which ignites the powder propellant. As the powder burns, rapidly expanding gases force the bullet through the barrel and out at a high velocity. This in turn causes the slide of the pistol to recoil and cycle another round into the chamber, ready for the next trigger pull. Depending on the firearm, a bullet can travel anywhere from 300 to 3,500 feet per second. When Leo told me he wanted to buy a gun, I was scared, and my first thoughts were about the kids, because, you know, how are you supposed to have a gun in the house when you've already got two young kids who are into everything? But Leo took me to the gun shop with him, and we talked to the owner about how to safely handle and store guns. Hey, I want to let you know we got the uh, safety vault for the shotguns and everything worked out just great. Oh, good. They got that set up where you want it? Oh, yeah, perfect. Great. Good deal. But we came in today to talk about the safety vaults for ammo, so... Oh, good, good. Well, you know, as we discussed, you want to keep those unloaded firearms locked in your gun safe at all times, and then you want to keep your ammo in a separate lockbox, preferably in a different room in the house. That's a smart idea. Well, it takes a much more deliberate 
deliberate act to put the two together when you do that. So what can you show us today on the likes of safety vaults for ammo? Well, we've got several, but uh, this is probably the most popular one that I okay. sell right here. It's pretty basic, uh, solid steel construction, access is with this key. You get mm -hmm. two keys, so you might want to keep one of those in your gun vault at all times, and then you okay. keep uh, the other one in a very safe and secure place. You have to push in on the key so it's not as easy to get into. Exactly. Ah. So this is a good safe to have if you have kids. Oh, I'd recommend it highly if you've got kids around the house. One of the things I really liked was the diversity. There were men and women, all ages and backgrounds. Our instructor wasn't what I expected. I thought we were going to have a good old boy in a flannel shirt. No, she turned out to be a local police officer, and she encouraged us to ask questions and share our experiences with guns. After I passed my gun safety course, I decided I want to learn more about guns. So I went to an indoor firing range, and I started working with an instructor there. And I, you know, I really wanted to know what it felt like to actually shoot a gun. I found out I'm a pretty good shot for a beginner, and I'm thinking about taking a class on bullseye shooting. Uh, some of the regulars at the range even invited me to join in a match next season, and my instructor thinks I'm gonna do well. When Jimmy transferred to my high school last year, I was a little disappointed because his mom wouldn't let him come over. She was afraid of my dad's guns. I told Bill that he needed to respect Mrs. Anderson's opinion, so, uh, Later on at one of the kids' baseball games, I was able to talk to her and, and invite him over as a family to talk it through. I wanted to emphasize to her firearm safety and education, and I wanted to have a chance to go over the steps I take uh, to keep my family and guests safe in my house. So the next weekend, Jimmy and his mom came over, and I took them down to the basement where we keep the gun safe. My dad talked to them about the importance of gun safety. And that's why I wanted Bill to learn about gun safety when he was young. Well, that makes sense. And I thank you, Hank and Bill. Um, to be honest, I am still not crazy about guns. However, I feel Jimmy would be very safe here. Thank you. There are many different types of firearms out there, and each is specific in design, ammunition, and function. To properly handle your gun, you should be familiar with its design and functions. This information is provided in the manual and should be thoroughly covered at the time of sale. Let's take a look at how to unload a few types of firearms. We've given our gun handlers snap caps, pieces of plastic shaped like cartridges, to ensure their safety as they demonstrate. Well, this is a pretty common style bolt action rifle. It has an internal magazine that must be emptied of cartridges in addition to clearing the chamber. Now on this particular model, to, uh, to clear the magazine, Simply open the floor plate and catch the cartridges as they fall out. And to clear the chamber, simply rotate the bolt handle up and pull back. Now, as you can see, the cartridge is ejected simply by pulling back on the bolt. It's essential to visually check the chamber and the magazine to ensure that they're empty before closing up this rifle and safely putting it away. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, shotguns with break open action like this double barreled over under model open pretty simply. You hold it firmly in both hands making sure to keep it in a safe direction then press this lever with your thumb. You push down on the barrel. Now after you fire the gun the shotgun shells would pop out but since you haven't fired yet you can just pull them out with your fingers. Here's a pretty typical revolver design. To unload it, push the cylinder release forward and swing the cylinder out to the side. Tip the gun up and the unfired cartridges will usually just fall out. If not, push the ejector rod and that'll push the casings out. Now to unload the semi-automatic pistol, first thing you want to do, push the magazine release right here behind the trigger, remove the magazine from the gun. Next, you want to pull the slide back firmly and take that last cartridge out of the chamber. Now it's very important to do this in the correct order. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a cartridge in the chamber of what you thought was an unloaded gun. Remember that all firearms are different. You should never pick up or attempt to unload a gun that you are not familiar with. Find someone who is and let them handle it. The best way you can stay safe is to educate your family. Now that we've covered the basics of firearms and safety, let's review what we've learned. Always treat a gun as if it is loaded. Never point a gun at anything you do not want to destroy. Keep your finger off of the trigger until you're ready to fire. Always have a full and unobstructed view of your target and whatever is beyond. Firearms should be stored in safes 
or be secured by a device such as a cable lock, trigger lock, or security jacket. Ammunition should always be stored in a locked box or case, preferably in a separate room. Share your knowledge of firearm safety with others. Never drink alcohol or use drugs before or while shooting. Get your gun safety education from a certified instructor. It is recommended and even required for most individuals to take a hunter's safety course in order to qualify for a hunting license. Keep in mind that there are multiple styles of firearms that function differently and that each requires ammunition specific to its design. Always consult the manual or a qualified expert. Now let's check back in with Jackie and see how she handles her situation. Hey guys, doing okay? Mm -hmm. What did you do with the gun, Aunt Jackie? Well, I unloaded it and locked it up in a safe place till Grandma gets home. Can we play with it now that you took the bullets out, please? No, Chris. A gun is not a toy. You should never play with the gun. But how did you know how to unload it? Well, last year I took a course on gun safety. Learning to stay safe is very important. Stay safe. Educate yourself and your family. It's easy to do when you use your resources. Watch videos, read books, and talk to the experts. The more you know, the safer you and your family can be. For more information, contact the National Rifle Association or the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Stay Safe is a series of educational programs designed to provide accident prevention knowledge for your family. We encourage you to check our website for other Stay Safe programs at www.staysafe.tv.